Families of Israeli hostages visit Chicago. Pro-Palestinian protesters decry Rafa raid. Chicago, CBS. New video released by the Israeli military shows soldiers meeting two hostages they rescued during a deadly raid in the southern Gaza city of Rafah. The men had been held since the October 7 attacks by Hamas. News of the rescue broke just ahead of a Middle Eastern leader's visit to the White House. President Joe Biden welcomed King Abdullah II of Jordan, with whom he is working on a deal to free the rest of the hostages held by Hamas. Also Tuesday, pro-Palestinian demonstrators gathered Monday afternoon at Federal Plaza downtown and called for a ceasefire, while families of Israeli hostages visited Chicago. Yanov Yaakov and Bar Rudef were pleased to hear the news of the hostages being rescued in the raid in Rafah. It was like the best news ever, he said. The two hostages that were released were taken from the same kibbutz that my father has lived and was taken from, said Rudef. Rudef's dad and Yaakov's brother are still hostages. This whole war, this whole thing is about the hostages, said Yaakov, so bring them home to us. Both men were in Chicago Monday, calling on the U.S. to help bring their loved ones home, and sharing their pain that started 129 days ago when Hamas took over 100 hostages and killed around 1,200 people, according to the Israeli government. Meanwhile in the loop, hundreds of pro-Palestinian supporters rallied in response to the bloodshed endured during the military operation in Rafah that freed the two hostages. Hospital officials said dozens of Palestinians were killed in Rafah, where more than one million refugees were relocated for safety. This comes as President Biden has become more vocal in saying Israel needs to do more to protect civilians caught in the crossfire. Because Israel is invading the part of Gaza, the southern part of Gaza, that was supposed to be a safe zone, Husam. Mirajda of the U.S. Palestinian Community Network said at the protest, We want more from the White House. We want more from the Biden administration. The genocide must stop. The genocide must stop, and the invasion of Rafah cannot happen. The families of Israeli hostages whom we spoke with Monday night said they are realistic, and do not expect their loved ones to be rescued in a military operation. For that reason, they are calling for a deal to get done that includes their family members returning home safely.